So in this part lecture, we'll discuss the sheet Tomasi Cornet detail Gotham, uh, which has only one difference as compared to the Harris Cornet detail Gotham. So recall that the Harris Cornet detector is an improvement over the Moravex Cornet detail Gotham, which uses the fundamental idea that if you draw a patch around a corner pixel, and if you shift that patch by by small amount delta, then if you compute the difference between the two patches, the patch at location P and the patch at location P plus delta, then there would be significant difference in the appearance of this patch. And we saw in the Harris Conrad algorithm that uh, we model this difference as E delta at location P simply as sum over all U comma V belonging to the neighborhood of pixel P in window W, W of U comma V times the i of u i at u comma v minus i at u comma v plus delta is squared. So we saw that in the Moravix corner detector, we actually compute, we discretize the delta in, in, in four different uh, uh, directions and we compute the e of delta for uh, each of the delta shift and then we find basically uh, the minimum of those shifts and we check if the basically if this minimum is given some threshold. Uh, then we basically uh, mark that point as a candidate point for being a corner and then we perform the local uh, non-maximal suppression to get the final corners. And recall that in Harris Corner Detail Gotham, we got rid of the uh, limitation of discrete values of delta by considering the Taylor series expansion of the image function at P uh, shifted by small uh, value delta. So we consider the Taylor series approximation, Taylor series expansion, the first order series, uh, series expansion to finally uh, arrive at the formulation that for any delta value, we can model the difference between the delta shifted patches by simply the matrix vector multiplication delta transpose M delta. And we saw in the previous lecture that this matrix, we derived this matrix where the matrix M is sum over all U comma V belonging to the neighborhood of pixel P and W at U comma V times the matrix Ix of gradient, the x derivative of the image at location U comma V squared gradient x gradient of the image at u comma v times the y gradient of the image at u comma v times the gradient of the, the, the y derivative of the image at u comma v squared. Recall that finally uh, we uh, computed the, the three different matrices, matrix A, B and C, where A is given by convolution of the uh, derivative image squared with weight matrix W or the filter W. B is given by the Y derivative of the image squared. This is element wise squared, converted with, uh, with W and C is given by convolution of the product of these two matrices, uh, the, 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 the element wise product convoluted with W. So we can globally compute these matrices and the matrix for location for pixel location P is simply given by A at P, C at P, and B at location P and this is a two cross two matrix. And we discussed that the uh, eigenvalues of this matrix uh, decide whether the uh, whether the particular pixel is a corner or not. So we discussed that the Harris corner director uses the score function for pixel P as the determinant of matrix P minus the constant times trace of matrix MP squared. And basically uh, this models the idea 
that if both the eigenvalues of the matrix MP are large, then this is a corner. If one is large and the other is small, then this is an edge point. And if both are small, then this is a flat region. And basically, we graphically saw that if we uh, plot the contours of this function, then it would look like this. So this is lambda 2, lambda 1. And then this is the center of the cone. So the contours of this core function look something like this. So these values of lambda are flat regions. So in this region, the pixel P is flat. Here, it's an edge. And here is also an edge. And in this region, the point P is a corner point. So this, all this we had covered in the previous lecture. So the Harris coordinate algorithm uses the score H where h is equal to lambda 1 times lambda 2 minus some constant times lambda 1 plus lambda 2 squared. So this is the determinant of the matrix and this is the trace of the matrix. And if this value is greater than some threshold tau, then we consider that point to be a corner point. And furthermore, just like in the Moravis coordinator, after uh, gathering all the points that satisfy this threshold, we perform a local maximal suppression. So after this step, we perform a local non-maximal suppression. In the Harris coordinator, just like the Moravis corner detector. So all these steps in the Shea Tomasi corner detector are going to be exactly identical to the Harris corner detector algorithm except for the uh, score. So the Shi Tomasi corner detector uh, algorithm uses a score, we'll write it as st of particular pixel p is min of lambda 1, lambda 2. So here if in the Harris coordinate algorithm, if the score is getting some threshold, then we consider that point to be a candidate corner point before performing the local non-maximal suppression. And in Shi Tomasi corner detector, we just consider if the Shi Tomasi score, which is given by the minimum of the eigenvalues, is greater than or equal to some threshold. So in that case, the point would be a corner point. So the plot of the contours of the Harris coordinate algorithm are going to look like this. So this is lambda 1 over lambda 2 is some constant C2 on this line. Uh, lambda 1 over lambda 2 is some another constant C1. So here lambda 2 is greater than lambda 1. Here lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2. So this line, any point on this line or to the left of this line is going to be an edge point and any point inside this cone is going to be a corner point. Whereas in Shi Tomasi corner detector, so we'll just uh, draw the plot of the Shi Tomasi corner detector. So the only uh, requirement for a point to be a candidate corner point in the Shi Tomasi corner detector algorithm is that the minimum eigenvalue should be larger than some threshold. So the plot is going to look like this. So we have lambda 2, lambda 1. So let's assume this is our threshold tau. And likewise, we have a threshold tau. So if the minimum of, of the eigenvalues is greater than or equal to tau, then the point is going to be a corner. So likewise, we can draw for lambda 1 as well. So in this region, both the lambda 1 and lambda 2 
or less than tau and that's why all the points in this region are going to belong to flat region so all the points in this region are going to belong to belonging to the flat region or the homogeneous uh, region in an image all the points falling over here where lambda 2 is smaller than the uh, than threshold tau but lambda 1 is greater than threshold tau these are going to be the edge points and all the points in this region are also going to be edge points and any point or uh, any pixel falling in this region is going to be the corner point. So the pseudo code for the Shi Tomasi corner detail Gotham is going to look exactly the same as the Harris corner detail Gotham except for the last step. So once we have identified all the points that are larger than, the, than some threshold, so we can form a matrix Q for all the pixels which have the score st p and it is going to be zero everywhere where the uh, score is less than the threshold tau so once we have obtained this matrix q of p just like in the moravex conjugate algorithm we perform the local uh, non maximal suppression over q to get the final filtered corner points. So this ends the uh, discussion of the Harris corner detail algorithm. So all the mathematical steps are the same as in Harris corner detail algorithm. And just like in the Harris corner detail algorithm, in the Shi Tomasi corner detail algorithm also, the W is going to be a Gaussian weight kernel. So this ends the discussion of the Shi Tomasi corner detail algorithm and in practice Shi Tomasi corner detail algorithm is used much more than the Harris corner detail algorithm. So usually it is preferred version of the corner detail algorithm if the fast detector is not being used. So the most prominent uh, corner detector is the fast detector algorithm and as we mentioned earlier since uh, discussion of fast would lead to a case study of a very long research paper. So it is not a part of this category to uh, robotics course. And thus, we'll provide only a very brief idea about the fast corner director algorithm.